G'day folks. This evening I've come up to a small mountain stream, this one, see, a very small mountain stream, to try and catch some freshwater blackfish. These freshwater blackfish, sometimes known as greasies, slimies or slipperies, are a small native freshwater fish that we find here in these northeast Victorian streams. We also find them on the other side of the Great Dividing Range in the coastal running streams, but they grow to three or four pound down there. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they may just be a different species of blackfish. I know these are what's called the two-spined black, two blackfish. I forget the first scientific name, but the second one is bispinosis, meaning bi-spine, two-spined. So I'm chasing the two-spined blackfish. I've got a light rod, four pound line, a light little sinker with a running sinker rig, and a tiny weeny size 10 hook with a Nathalia Nightcrawler worm because I bought it at the service station on the way out. Any worm will do. I prefer a little split shot but I was in a hurry and could not find my split shot sinkers tonight. So by using a slightly bigger sinker I've tied a little weeny twig into the line about a foot or so up from the hook just, just so that the sinker hits the bottom. If I get a bite and the fish pulls the worm it doesn't feel the sinker and it pulls the line through the sinker and there's less resistance and it's more likely to, in, to end up hooked up. So I've got a written of the lightest rod and reel outfit. I've got us a little Akuma micro spin with a quantum reel on it that I bought at Adventure Camping and Fishing last year. Absolutely love this little combo. Four pound monofilament line, Maxima Ultra Green. Tiny weeny little size 10 hook with a bunch of worms and the smaller sinker in my tackle box. It's getting dark as you can tell by the video. This video quality may be grainy or poor. That's because the light is very, very low. I have got these on my HD VCS sunglasses. Now you'll notice, in, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll see I was wearing the sunglasses camera. This is the same camera, but it's got the yellow lenses. I've taken the sunglasses lenses out and put these yellow bright lenses in that actually let more light in. They actually make things appear lighter than they are, but I can still use the camera. That allows me to fish at night and still use the camera. When it gets really dark, I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing very well. So what I will do, I will cast the line out, well not even cast it out, just lower it out, let it sit for a minute or two, then I'll gently pick it up. If there's not a fish on it, I'll lower it out, I'll let it sit for a couple of minutes, then I'll pick it up. Similar to trout fishing for worms after it's been raining, trout, trout fishing with worms, sorry, after it's been raining. In these little streams, you don't always see many blackfish, but these creeks are littered with them. People often say, actually someone said to me today at the service station when I bought the worms, where do you find greasies these days? I haven't seen them for years. All of these creeks here in North East Victoria are littered with tiny weeny little blackfish. They live under these undercut banks and under these logs and they don't come out. They're very similar to a Murray Cod. They're similar in appearance. They're a small green fish. The bigger they get, the darker they tend to get in this clear water. But they hide during the day and they come out under the cover of darkness to feed at night. Occasionally I'll catch them during the day on a soft plastic. Usually you've got to put the soft plastic really close to the fish's mouth. But during the night they'll come out into the shallows, you'll see them in the rapids and it's just getting to that dark time of the night now where they're going to start feeling safe. So I'm going to go and I'm going to wet a line and I'm going to see if I can catch a fish. Up here is a headlamp. I'll try to avoid using it. I'll put the line in. If I want to talk I can talk in the dark. All you'll see is black. If I hook a blackfish I'll probably pull it out of the water, turn around, face away from the creek and then turn my light on to light it up for the camera. It's very important that this bright light does not shine on the water because that will spook the other fish. The moment you put your light on the water, Murray Cod and Blackfish are very similar, they just disappear. So you really need to keep the light away from the water. So I've got a fish in total darkness until such a time as it'll hook a fish. So the next, if I catch a fish, the rest of the footage will be taken with these and then I'll turn my headlamp on. I've done this sort of technique. I've used this technique when I've been surface fishing for Murray Cod. I don't know. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Got something here, something heavy. What the hell have I got? A dirty great. I've got a blackfish that it's snagged. I try and get the the stick, the blackfish, the whole lot out of the water. Look, there's the blackfish. Just in case he gets off. <laughs> I thought a nibble went to pull it in, and all of a sudden it's really heavy, and I thought, what have I got here? There we go folks, using the technique I just talked about. The light sinker, the bunch of worms. 
I was able to land this tiny little native Australian fish, the freshwater blackfish. It's got a big gut on him, so he's obviously just been eating the freshwater blackfish. I'm not going to shine the brightest part of this light on it because it makes it too bright for the, the video. In fact, I'll turn it down a little bit. There's our freshwater blackfish. I'll unhook him and I'll throw him back in the drink. Okay, folks, I've got a bite here. I actually saw it bite because it nearly got him. I'll put my light on. And here he comes. Another little blackfish. Quite a nice fish, actually. Like These aren't big fish. Blackfish aren't a big fish. This one's a bit better than the last one in that he's not wrapped around a heap of snags. Well, uh, now, I caught that only probably four or five minutes after I turned my headlamp off. So that didn't take long at all. Native Australian freshwater blackfish. What a pretty little fish. They are a very nice eating fish. They've got a very white flesh. And it's nice and juicy. However, getting one that's large enough to, to eat is a problem. They're not subject to any restrictions here on the northern side of the Great Dividing Range. There's no size limit, no bag limit, no close season because they are plentiful. They are quite abundant. South of the Great Dividing Range, on the coastal run streams, it's a totally different story. And before catching yourself or keeping yourself a feed of freshwater blackfish over there, I highly recommend you first learn the rules. Grab yourself a copy of the Victorian Fishing Handbook. Let's back in. I actually saw the rod under the moonlight. You think it'll bite straight away, even with the light on. Here we go, there's heaps of fish in here, folks. Even with the light on, they're hitting this. Here he goes. Got him. <laughs> I haven't even turned the light off. Look at that. I have caught three blackfish in the same spot on the same bunch of worms, all similar size, around about the 21, 22 centimetre size. What a beautiful fish. As I said earlier, there's a lot of similarities to Murray Cod. You can see that in their patterns, their shape, their semi-nocturnal habits, the habitat they enjoy, which is the deep holes of the snags. They've got quite an aggressive bite, like a Murray Cod for a fish their size. Although I have to admit, catching them while the light is still on is totally unexpected by me. A bit of a nibble here. Just watching the rod tip dance around. Something's picking at it but doesn't want to grab it hard enough to hook up. So I might pick the rod up, reel it in slowly, then as the bait moves, the fish might be more inclined to have a decent go at it like that. Got him. He's not a bad blackie either. Look at that, another little greasy, another little blackfish. It's splashing around in the background out there. I don't know whether it's a trout rising or what it is. Something keeps coming to the surface. Anyway, another nice little blackfish. I'll put him back. Well, I face just one time this hook on here. Isn't it funny, even though it's dark, I'm holding it up towards the sky so that I can see what I'm doing, and the sky's black and I really can't see anything. These blackfish are great fun. There's no trophies. I'm not going to get the cover of a magazine with a blackfish, not one of these ones. Maybe over in the Snowy River or somewhere that runs into the coast on the other side of the Great Dividing Range I might. But here I won't. I'll just catch little ones. But I threw them back. When I go cod fishing, I usually throw them back. I haven't kept a cod for years. So what does it matter that the fish is only small? It's still just as challenging for me to learn the habitats, the breeding and everything. There's still the same challenges there as what there is catching a big fish. The point I'm trying to make is it's not always about the biggest fish in the river. I think a lot of people become disillusioned with that, they try and catch the biggest fish in the river and they feel like they fail when they don't. There's more to it than that. There's much more to it. 
it's so peaceful out here tonight. It's a nice night. It's a little bit cool, but it's not cold. I'm quite comfortable just in a t-shirt. I think if there was others with me, they may want a wind shader. I don't feel like cold like a lot of people. But it's a nice night. I've seen some wildlife in the headlights. I saw a fox before in my headlamp as I was walking. These things all give me a buzz. And as for the fish, yeah sure they're small, but it's still rewarding knowing that I have worked out feeding patterns, breeding patterns. Well not so much breeding patterns, but I've worked out where they are. I've worked out what sort of habitat they like. I've worked out what I've got to do to catch them. And that's rewarding. Sure, catching a massive big fish is rewarding too, I can't deny that. I know where there's creeks where I can go and catch mountain galaxies and stuff that people think don't even exist anymore. That's rewarding too. It's just another form of this great hobby that we all enjoy. I'm going to go and see if I can catch another one. There's actually a big deep hole just down the creek here a little bit. I'm thinking about going down there and just seeing if I can get a fish out of that. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to walk into it because it's quite overgrown. But I'll go and have a look. If not, it'll just be fun to shine this, the bright headlamp into the water and see what I can see, see, see. Righto, folks, in the moonlight, I just saw my rod start bouncing, so I'm going to take up the slack. The fish there. Got him. Geez, a little one. He's only very small. Wow. That's the smallest blackfish so far tonight, but it is a blackfish. There we go. On the Patnostery, it worked. A little bit of weed there around the bait. Look at that, another magnificent little freshwater blackfish. Isn't it amazing how this particular stream also has one of the best numbers of trout in the area? And yet the tree huggers will tell you that there's no, there's no blackfish because the trout got rid of them all and blah blah blah. Trout and blackfish live together very very well, thank you very much. Giving a nibble. You might be able to see the rod tip in the light there, there he goes. Here he goes, he's pulling it tight. He's pulling the line tight. Here he goes. I'm taking it. I think the light might be making them a bit hesitant. Because the moment I turn the light off, the bite gets harder. There it is there, a little bit of a nibble. Either that, or it's just a really small fish. He's pulling, he's pulling. Got him. Yeah. He's not a bad blackfish. He's quite a good blackfish, actually. Look at that. He is possibly the biggest blackfish I've caught all night. He would be nudging 28 or 29 centimetres long, that blackfish. Look at that. 